the Pudi Cadran is next. This is the French Gold Cup. Two miles and four furlongs. Two and a half miles. Group one, of course, Duke of, Duke of Jamoin at the top for Padrango. Again, Hammer and Anvil, Joshua Sutherland. Kiko's Accord, David Robertson. Devilish Game, Darren Thompson. Highbury in October and Jumping Bean for Graham Clutterbuck. Nero's Diamond Craig Beck with Santa Rosa, Monkey, Vinnie Gerard and Southern Comfort for Paul Rose. All installed and ready to go. Figure of nine then for this Prix de Cadran. Uh, all off to a pretty level break. Two and a half miles the trip. Long way to go on the flat. And is anything going to go off into the lead and make it a real stiff test of stamina? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Santa Rosa Monkey. Now the one coming through to take it up. Oh, Many Gerard's horses usually come from the back, sir. Give you an idea about how slow the pace is. Hammer and Anvil's now moved through into second. Hybrid October is third. That one's been around a long time. Duke of Jamoin is getting a bit closer. So it is jump, Jumping Bean. And Kiko's Accord is the early back marker. But the pace is somewhat pedestrian. And Santa Rosa Monkey is in the lead. From closest to us, Jumping Bean just second. Stable mate, Hybrid October is a close up third. Also close up there is Hammer and Anvil. The field is separated by no more than four lengths. And it's a game of cat and mess. After you, Claude. At the moment, Santa Rosa Monkey in the lead. Jumping bean closest to us. In Hammer and Anvil and Hybrid October. Nero's Diamond is next in devilish game. Southern Comfort on the rail. And Duke of Dremoyne was almost up there with the lead. A minute ago, he's now disputing the back spot with Kiko's Accord, but it's Santa Rosa Monkey, who's still in the lead by about a length, Hammer and Anvil sitting quietly in second, he's just took another tug there on Jumping Bean, closest to as you can see the jockey virtually standing upright trying to stop them from going too quickly but it's Santa Rosa Monkey from Hammer and Anvil Duke of Dremoyne is next. And closest to his jumping bean and highway in October. I think they've still got an awful long way to go, so we're just going past the stands now. or we'll past the second screen in a minute. Almost looks like a false finish. That's a minute. There's still a fair long way to go to the winning post, which we'll pass shortly. There's that second screen. That first screen always makes me think the finish is coming up, but it's not. It's a good way away from the lollipop and it's Santa Rosa Monkey who's now started to quicken a little bit and leads by four lengths now to Duke of Dremoyne who's come through into second as they've finally started to race Kiko's Accord is back in third then comes Hammer and Anvil four Southern Comfort getting a nice split up the inside Oh, Paul Rose in devilish game in the purple jacket with the white sleeves jumping beans after that one Nero's diamond and finally Highbury in October who's dropped to the back but Santa Rosa Monkey slowing the pace down again a little bit now with Southern Comfort in second then Duke of Dremoyne Hammer and Anvil is next devilish game Kiko's Accord then jumping bean Nero's diamond and finally Highbury in October is still no more than six or seven lengths behind the leader so nothing is out of this yet as Santa Rosa Monkey now starts to kick on again and extends again to a two length lead to Southern Comfort who's in second devilish game Hammer and Anvil is next jumping bean looks to be going well nearest to us Duke of Dremoyne in the yellow jacket Kiko's of course going to try and go up the inside Nero's diamond is starting to get closer Highbury in October is just two or three lengths off the rest of them but Santa Rosa Monkey's in the lead now suddenly they've only got four furlongs left to go in a pre de Cadran Southern Comfort on the inside is second. Devilish Game is third. Jumping Bean is four. And then Hammer and Anvil, Drunk of Dremoyne in the yellow jacket. Now starts to unleash a bit of a run. So too does Highbury in October. Nero's Diamonds drop to the back. And so too Hammer and Anvil coming under pressure. But it's Santa Rosa Monkey who's now three clear from Southern Comfort in second. Devilish Game is back in third. Then Jumping Bean and Highbury in October. They've only got two furlongs to go. And Santa Rosa Monkey's three or four clear. They're going to have to get going to get to this one. And Southern Comfort is the first one to really try and let fly in third place is Highbury in October also running on well now is Nero's Diamond but Santa Rosa Monkey's got first one on them all four lengths clear still well inside the final third I don't think they're going to be catching it at the moment it looks like this is going to be another one for Vinnie Gerard as Santa Rosa Monkey races up towards the line of the pre de Cadran takes it all the way winner Southern Comfort second close for third probably just 
Highbury in October from Nero's Diamond who finished well. Hammer and Anvil dropped out tamely. And nothing seemed to want to take that race on at all. Santa Rosa Monkey was left in the lead and basically they just never caught it. Caught him really. Very really easy win. And Vinnie Gerard's cleaning up again today. So Santa Rosa Monkey takes it for Vinnie Gerard. Southern Comfort was second for Paul Rhodes. Highbury in October for Graham Clutter was third. Devilish Game Darren Thompson fourth. And Nero's Diamond for Craig Beckwith was fifth.